Okay, welcome back guys to the first actual gameplay episode of my Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater walkthrough. There was episode 1, but that was pretty much all just cutscenes, long ass intros. That's how you know when you're playing a Metal Gear game. But anyways, just to get some things out of the way, uh, some of you guys are probably wondering what type of gameplay this is gonna be. Some of you want to know if this is gonna be a boss emblem run like Metal Gear Solid 4 was as I shoot this alligator to knock him out. Uh, my answer to that is no because it can't be a boss emblem run due to the fact that I will be including all the cutscenes in this game. And when you include all the cutscenes in the game that will bring you brings you well over the limit of the five hours that you have to complete the game in and as well I am not a, as adept in this game as I was at Metal Gear Solid 4 I only played this game about two times I played Metal Gear Solid 4 a shitload and as well if you probably watched my Metal Gear Solid 2 walkthrough you know that Two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK 47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle, either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Uh, so like I was saying... I played Metal Gear Solid 2 like 10 times, so I pretty much knew all the nooks and crannies in that game. Did not have the similar experience uh, in this game, as you can see there's a sniper rifle right here. Uh, I'm not going to use it though. And speaking of which, I will be playing this in the heart of a Metal Gear Solid game. I will be doing this entire playthrough without killing anyone. I think there's actually... Oh, shit. Whoops, whoops, whoops. 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 I will be playing this entire game without killing anyone, as you can see right there. Uh, mainly because that's how Metal Gear Solid games are meant to be played. As well, because there's a gold trophy for completing the entire game without killing anyone. And I love me my trophies. As you can tell, I can't remember where the guys are in position in this game. As well, the camera angle isn't being very helpful to me right now. Oh, there's a guy. Gotcha. Do a quick reload. 
That's how that's how you skip out on the reloading of individual magazines or rounds there. Just do a little quick tap with the R2. And just for safe measure. Can can never be too careful. Look at, look at the smile on his face. <laughs> and there are these little green frogs that are located throughout the entire game. There are a lot of them from what I remember. <laughs> and this is how you get across the bridge, as that hint told you. Not only will those bees take out the, that guy, it'll force the, uh, the two guys in front of them to run away as well. Keep going. There you are. Oh, shoot. The second time around in this game, you have to be careful because that bee's nest is not there. And as well, if you trank the guy on the bridge, you may run into a situation where you accidentally kill kill him because the bridge goes back and forth. Um, I'm not gonna need it, but you guys can check out what's underneath here. Whoops. I can't remember. What the hell? Come on. Up you go. Whatever. I'll just shimmy across. Work on my grip gauge. Not really though, because I'm not going to do any chin ups. What is this? XM. One second here. I don't even know what that was. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's an assault rifle. Kind of look like an M16-ish kind of deal. But... We will not be using it. I heard a guy, in all honesty. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. Security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. 
beginning my approach to the target. Okay. Let's see here. One. I see you back there. <laughs> it's so gratifying in this game when you hit the perfect shot. If this guy would stop moving, that'd be fantastic. Eh. There we go. Took two shots. That's okay, though. And I cannot remember how many guards are here. Let me see. Oh. No, that's not a guard. Oh, God. Stupid pressure sensitive controls. Oh, there you are. I'm almost positive. That there's another guard back there. There you are. Okay. Now I pray that that's all of them. I think that's it. Sweet. Yay, more cutscenes. Men, you'll never get it from me. No, I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah, I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Vulcan of Gruel. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. 
But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volkin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volkin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? No one spotted me. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. <laughs> 